Welcome back. Last week we showed you how technology in football helmets is advancing to keep players safer than they've ever been. And tonight we're going to take a look at the cost, not just in purchasing new helmets to replace out of date ones, but in recertifying the helmets as well. Curtis Quillen joins us now with part two of our series tackling safety in football. Good evening, Curtis. Well, good evening to you guys. A national organization in charge of reconditioning helmets and manufacturers like Rydell say a helmet's lifespan is no longer than 10 years, during which it needs to be recertified every other year. But how much does that cost? And when buying a helmet, what goes into the decision besides the budget? They actually have a helmet that's it's uh, it's specifically fitted for each individual, but but the cost is uh, it's about eighteen hundred dollars. Football helmets are anything but cheap, and you you would never want to put your your kid in in, in something you know that was a cheap helmet or, or not not what you felt like was a good product. Kevin Hoffman, the head football coach and athletic director at 2A Mart, says Rydell sets the lifespan of its helmets at 10 years with reconditioning required every other year. Every year our helmet rep will come by and uh, and we'll go through the helmets and, and make sure that uh, you know, we got the, the, the proper helmets and uh, with the dates that, uh, that they were first bought or first used and uh, make sure that those uh, you know, fall in the guidelines of, uh, you know, a helmet having a 10 year lifespan. Scott Stort, the head football coach and athletic director at 6A Temple High School, says he operates on the National Athletic Equipment Reconditioners Association guideline, which until recently stated the lifespan for a reconditioned helmet was 10 years. In October, the association changed it to go off of each manufacturer's recommended lifespan, and that's still more strict than the Texas guidelines. The University Interscholastic League, or UIL, oversees extracurricular activities at public schools in Texas. The UIL declined an on-camera interview, but a spokesperson told us, quote, its medical advisory committee meets twice each year to review UIL rules related to health and safety. State law in Texas says the state's public schools may use a helmet up to 16 years with reconditioning required after the helmet is 10 years old. As for the cost of reconditioning, the budget depends on the size of the school. Our budget for reconditioning is $7,500. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to spend up to uh, that amount. Mart reconditions every year instead of the required every other year, citing the number of extra games they play. But the Panthers only need about 50 helmets at the high school level. At Temple, which needs more than 300 just at the high school, Stort says reconditioning accounts for $18,500 a year. And both coaches say to help ease the burden of buying replacement helmets, they buy small amounts each year to keep it within the guidelines and have the necessary number of helmets. We, just, we kind of do it in chunks, you know what I mean, to try to keep up with it because the, uh, the price tag on those things are pretty high. We looked at the cost of various helmets used at the high school level. Rydell's Speedflex helmets run around $400. That's the third ranked helmet in the NFL's lab tests. Shutt's newest helmet will run you about $700, while the Vengeance Pro, another highly ranked helmet, runs around $300. Zenith has two models, which would cost around $350 or less, and its newest helmet, which hasn't yet hit shelves, the Shadow, is just under $500. <laughs> Mark Honeycutt is the offensive and defensive line coach at Mart and the equipment supervisor. We asked him what he looks for in a helmet. A helmet's designed to take the energy to when the kids get hit to disperse that energy around. How, that, how does that helmet handle that and what parts are going to wear out on it? and how easy it is to replace those parts. So when you combine state law, budgets, and technology, it's clear keeping up with helmets and football doesn't come cheap. You know, I'd love to put everybody in a, in a $1,300 Vices, but it just, you know, the, the budget just won't allow that. Well, guys, on our website, KCENTV.com, we have a further breakdown of the cost of various models of helmets on the market today. Used at all levels of football and the raw interviews with Temple Athletic Director Scott Stort and Mart Athletic Director Kevin Hoffman on exactly how they handle keeping up with helmets, both the technology and the cost of it. I had no idea it was so expensive. There's so much there, and they got there, a coach yeah. on top of that. Yeah. That's, wow, there's a lot to do. Thank you, Curtis.